and welcome. My name is Julianne Cost, and in today's episode of The Complete Picture, we're going to demystify that multi-image select in Lightroom. So let's get started. Now, the first thing I want to show you is actually just three little navigational tips that I think will also help. The first being, it doesn't matter what module you're in when you're in Lightroom, do you know that the G key will always take you back to the library module to grid view? So that's a really quick way to get back from, from any of the modules, especially I use it all the time with develop. Then the second thing to know is that the plus key and the minus key will actually increase or decrease the size of your thumbnails. No other, no command key, nothing else, just plus and minus. And then also, if you have an image selected, you can go ahead and you can use your arrow keys to navigate up and down and forward and backwards through your images. All right, but let's talk about selecting. Now, just to select an image, very easy, right? All you need to do is just click, click in the image that you want to have selected, all right? You could also, if you wanted to select all of your images, you could use Command A, which is pretty common, right? That's a keyboard shortcut for most applications. That will select everything. Of course, on Windows, that's Control A. And to deselect, it's either Command or Control D to deselect your images. Now, if you want to select a range of images, let's say we want to select the first row. I'll click on the first image, and if I want all of these images selected, I'll just hold down the Shift key and click on the last image, and that will select the whole range. Again, just like your operating system. All right, let's deselect. Now, what if I want to select, I don't know, three images that aren't next to each other, three discontiguous images? Then I'll hold down the Command key on the Mac or the Control key on Windows, click on one, click another, and then continue to add to my selection. So far, so good. Pretty easy. But this is where Lightroom gets a little bit more complicated because you will notice that when you have more than one image selected, one image will always appear a little bit brighter, and that will be your most selected image. Now, I know that sounds odd, but there's a reason for it. If you've ever had one image that you've, say, corrected or you've added keywords or metadata to, and you want to apply those exact same settings to all of the other selected images, we have to know which is more selected, which image we should take the keywords from or the white balance from or whatever you've changed. We need to know which one is kind of the master file so that we can take those instructions or those changes from that image and apply it to all of the rest of them. So that's why we have a most selected image. Now, if I wanted to change this so that this image here was most selected, all I need to do is click on it, right? So it's very easy to change your most selected image. But what if you have all of your images selected? Let's go ahead and do a quick Command A. Now, we can see that this image is the most selected. Two scenarios usually happen at this point. You either want to deselect all of the images except for that image, or you want to deselect just that image. So there are two ways you can do it. There's obviously the manual way for each way, and then there's also the keyboard shortcut. So let's say I just wanted to deselect this image. Now what most people would do is simply hold down the command key or the control key on Windows and simply click on that image. Now it has been deselected. This image is now the most selected because it's a little bit brighter. You can also use a keyboard shortcut if you simply want to deselect the most selected image, and that's the backslash key. The backslash key will remove the most selected image from your selection. All right, now what if you only want this image selected and you want to deselect all of the rest of the images? Well, just clicking on this image makes it the most selected, so that doesn't work. What you need to do is you need to click outside of the image's thumbnail in this kind of gray area, like what used to be a slide mount is what I think of it as. You can click to the left or the right of it, um, or down here at the bottom, you just have to be careful that you don't like accidentally label it. And if you click at the top, you'll get this drop down menu, so you probably don't want to click up there because that's actually giving you the options to, to change what it is that you have viewing up there. So just click to the left or right of the thumbnail and it will deselect everything else just leaving that image selected. 
So it's important to know that there is a difference between obviously clicking in the image thumbnail and clicking outside of it. In fact, that reminds me of something else that's kind of important, and that is when you're trying to move files from one folder to another in Lightroom, a lot of people will accidentally click in the gray area and try to move an image, and that doesn't work. When you're moving images from a folder to another one or moving them into a collection, you actually have to click in the thumbnail for that image. And then you could go ahead and move that to a different folder. Okay, a few last things just about grid view right here. Sometimes when I'm adding keywords, if I accidentally am not like in the keyword area and you tap the T key, your toolbar will disappear. I've had this happen before, so just know that the T key is actually the shortcut to show and hide this toolbar down here. Another thing that you might have noticed is I actually have navigation icons down here in the toolbar that I can use to move from one image to the next. And the way that I got those to show is I used this little, little drop down arrow right here and I just chose navigate. If you don't want them showing, simply uncheck that. Something else that's really useful right underneath the tools is the ability to go to your recent and your favorite sources. So if you're always going to certain folders, you're always navigating to them, instead of having to come over here and you know, go up here and click on the, the folder and then maybe you know, scroll down and then click on another subfolder and scroll down, what you can do is if you're always going, let's say, to your Palm Beach folder, you can simply use this little breadcrumb area and add that to your favorites. And then it will add it to this favorite sources up here so that you can quickly go back to that folder. For example, if I want to quickly go to my aerial photography collection, I can just select that and it takes me right there. I can also use the back and forward navigation if I've gone to the wrong spot to get me quickly back to where I just was. And finally, if you ever wanted to simply see where this image is on your hard drive, you can use the right mouse button and say show in finder or you can use the keyboard shortcut command on the Mac or control windows R and it will show you exactly where that image lives on your hard drive. Well, excellent. That wraps up this episode of The Complete Picture. My name is Julianne Cost, and hopefully we've demystified how to select and deselect multiple images in Lightroom. Thanks for joining me. I hope to see you again here next time on The Complete Picture.